So y'all remember the other day when I told y'all that that was the most beautiful day instead of that other day? I was wrong again, it's today. <laughs> We're having lots of beautiful days. We still have like six days, I think, until the actual first day of fall, but it's totally feeling like fall. This morning, you need a little light jacket again. I don't know how to tell you what fall smells like, but it smells like fall. <laughs> there's no humidity that that's the number one wonderful thing about this weather is there is zero humidity you can come outside and you don't start sweating right away there aren't very many mosquitoes there are still a few every night like especially when it gets closer to the evening i really just want to stay outside the rest of the day but i'm fixing to have to cook supper in just a little bit and before i cook supper i'm going to make a pumpkin cobbler to have for dessert because this wonderful fall feeling day calls for a pumpkin something and it's going to be pumpkin cobbler this is really easy it just takes a few minutes to put it together and what we're going to do is put it in this iron skillet i have a 10 inch one here you can use an 8 9 or 10 inch Anything smaller than 8 will be too small. Anything bigger than 10 is going to be a little too big. You might could go 12, but it's 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 going to be a little too big for this recipe anyway. I'm pretty sure this one is a 10. It's a 9 or a 10. I'm pretty sure 10 though. I think I measured it for something a while back. So we're going to mix the filling in here and then the topping in here. You don't have to have a mixer. We're just going to do this by hand today. And I think I have, I have some big cans of pumpkin, but I just need a small one. Let me see if I have a small one down here. I think this is one, yes. 15 ounce can of pumpkin, we need three eggs. We're gonna put the eggs in first and go ahead and whisk those a little bit. All right, now we'll put everything else in. Let me get one cup of sugar. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this a little bit. We need two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Two thirds of a cup of heavy cream. Alright, the last two things we need in here are a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of salt. Pour this right into the skillet and sit it over to the side while we make the topping. And we're not going to bake this until supper is almost done. That way it'll be nice and warm when we're ready to eat it. I have some homemade whipped cream that I made for a little dessert experiment Titus was doing yesterday. So we have some homemade whipped cream to put on top of it. Okay, for the topping we have a third of a cup of brown sugar. Now we're putting in one stick of softened butter, a third of a cup of white sugar, now we need a teaspoon of cinnamon, and I have a helper that has arrived. Can you put that in? Mm-hmm. Now we need half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Let me go get the flour real quick. Okay. Can you be mad? You gotta mash the butter like that. Can you do that? Yeah. And I'll get the flour real quick. I get it all chewed up. <laughs> and I'm going to get it all mixed together. There. And someone can lick it. Oh, no, no. You don't want to lick that one. One cup of flour. 
Now can I mix it? Yeah, mix that. And then half a cup of flour. And that's it. You're trying to make it crumble all together, like a, kind of like a crumble. <laughs> Like a crumble ball? Yeah. yeah, like a crumble ball. Yeah. Let's flat this part up. Okay, flat that part up. You got it? Yeah. Okay. We're going to take this and crumble it on top of the pumpkin thing right here. Let me get it. This isn't hot. How do this is not going to get hot? Uh, it's not going to get hot till we bake well, it later. It looks like yogurt. Looks like yogurt. <laughs> My tummy tum tumbled. Your tummy tum tumbled? No. Did you hear a growl? Oh, it's growling? Yeah, because I want the yogurt. You want a yogurt? Oh, okay. We're just gonna crumble this all over oh, the top. Oh, let me try. Mm-hmm. Whoa, it's yogurt the best. Mm-hmm. What I'm gonna do is just cover this with plastic wrap until I'm ready to put it in the oven. Then we'll take that off and it goes in the oven at 375 for 35 to 40 minutes. Oh, so of course that. by the time we finish eating and clean up, it'll be done. Okay, now I want a yogurt. Okay. That's how you do dessert. You get it done earlier in the day, or at least, you know, ready to bake. You feel like somebody baked it for you after supper and after you got everything cleaned up, it's like, surprise, there's a dessert for you. You can just pretend that you weren't the one who made it earlier and it's exciting. Do you want any granola or fruit or just a yogurt? Um, just the yogurt. Okay. For supper tonight, we're having Sloppy Joes. Me and the kids have been wanting Sloppy Joes for like two weeks now because I'm trying to remember, where did Titus and all the boys go? Except Manly, he stayed here with me and Cece. They went somewhere a couple of weekends ago. Where was it? Was it when they went to the horse sale? I think so. Anyway, we watched It Takes Two. Y'all know the Sloppy Joe scene in that movie? It always makes me want a Sloppy Joe. Every single time. Something about the buns. The buns, they look so good. I don't even know. I don't know what kind of buns they use. He don't even get tired. So yeah, I'll start cooking at about 4.30. I need to work on my meal plan for the rest of the week. A little bit of little house while I meal plan. It's time to go ahead and get these sloppy joes made. I use the Pioneer Woman's recipe, but I just kind of change it up. Like if I don't have something, I'll leave it out or I might add something else from time to time. But that's, you know, that's the basic recipe that I use. So I'll link it down below. It's the pretty much the only one Titus really likes is the Pioneer Woman sloppy joe. I got the meal plan done. I'm excited about it. We've got some fun recipes coming up this week. Do y'all have a favorite Sloppy Joe recipe that's not the Pioneer Woman one? I remember y'all telling me about some before that I need to try, but I forgot which ones they were. So we just let the ground beef and onions and peppers cook together. Then when the ground beef is done, we'll drain it and add everything else in. Making your favorite <laughs> Sloppy Joe.
amazing. That's all I can say. This is better than pumpkin pie. I think even people who don't like pumpkin pie would like this pumpkin cobbler. It's so good. Mm -hmm.